So Radisha, as part of your services, you offer strategy sessions. What does that look like? So as a consultant and strategist for the culinary, the culinary management company, what I do for my clients is whatever their identified problem is, I walk them through step-by-step step on how to resolve those concerns. And I like to address things at the root source. Most people like superficial solutions, but then you easy, have every easy. problem. They like and easy. Yeah. And I like to deal, like I like to uproot stuff and get it out so it doesn't come back. And so that's the most important thing that I love doing with my clients. So let's say, for instance, you have an issue with employee retention. You just seem to continually hire the wrong people. So what I will do is I will look at your systems and processes and your strategies for how you hire people. And then I'll say, okay, well, I realize that this is what you're doing and that's what you're doing. How do you consider this? And then what we'll do is we'll create a hiring program around it that goes beyond looking at your resume, for instance, mm -hmm. right? It'll go into, do you need assessments? Do you need to hire people without experience, mm -hmm. preferably, and train them on your company's systems and processes and procedures? Because a lot of times people come in with bad habits other companies and they want to apply to yours mm -hmm. so the, all it's circumstantial all depends on the client so my strategy sessions always go to what is the root cause of it and how do we change it for the long term and that's what i love doing with my clients and that's my clients see the best benefits from that consulting and you know what i've I found working in the corporate industry as well is people come to you with a problem that they think they have, but it's not the real problem. That's actually a symptom of the problem. It's like going to a doctor with, <laughs> with, a, with a symptom and you want them to just put a Band-Aid on that symptom, but you don't really want to deal with the real issue. You know, yeah, you're going for preventative health or preventative ways on how or to preventative do health. So if you look at this from that standpoint as well, you may see this one is thing. Like a nerve on me, right? <laughs> I know. I saw your whole posture change. It's like, you know, they come to you um, because they're experiencing one symptom. But then you're able as the outside consultant with all your years of experience to see the deeper problem and the deeper issue and really help them uh, guide them to where they need to start this process. And it's not the the superficial cut that they saw, but My it actually goes a little bit deep, deeper. <laughs> it's being able to see what the challenge is. But, but walk them down that road with what they already the formula they came up with in their mind. It's like they want me to validate what it is that they want to do, even if it's wrong. And the greatest challenge to being effective as a consultant and a strategist for clients is when I speak to them about what it is that needs to be done and they get the opinion of 10 other people <laughs> that are like, not okay. experts in the field. They look for their. Um, info from their you know family and member and best friend this the little neighbor. Kind of business that it wasn't set up the right way to begin with and it's just like okay well you know i'm only here to provide my professional recommendations and feedback and at the end of the day whatever you choose or choose not to do in your business is on That's you up to you so i find that a lot of people it's not that they don't know or they haven't received the information on what they should do they take the opinions of just, too many people into consideration. Because they don't want to spend the money to do what they need to do. No, but even when they spend the money, because they have so many opinions to filter through, even though they've hired a professional, they become at this part where they like analysis paralysis. Um, and, oh, you know, what well, everyone is saying I should do this, but just because everyone is saying you should do this doesn't mean it's the right thing to do especially if they're not an expert in your particular industry yes. or have your specific challenge. So um, consulting a culinary strategist, such as Radisha Francis, is your best bet if you're having challenges in your restaurant, Only not if you're your open friend. to receive and listen to what it is that is being shared with you and you're able to really look at it from an objective standpoint. If yeah. you're looking for someone to just say, yes, what you're doing is right, or you're, you know, you always have to 
have it validated by other people, working with a consultant or strategist isn't the best. You know what? And and I'm just going to throw this in there because if it is that you need the opinion of five, six, seven, eight other people when you've already paid a consultant and a strategist to tell you what it is that you really need to do, uh, I would suggest having an assessment done on yourself to understand what your decision-making process is and what those blind spots you have around making decisions so that you can clear that up for yourself first and then mm -hmm. seek a strategist. Because it's really important because we don't see our own blind spots and you might be seeking those things out for a subconscious reason, a reason that has nothing to do with the success of your business. And mm -hmm. so um, I would just venture to say, you know, contact, even cont contact the culinary management company because they do offer individual assessments to understand those blind spots as well. Yes. And it's very important. Sometimes, you know, you really have to have that one on one session. That's why before we even determine if we're going to accept a person as a client, that there's an assessment that I created for the company that asks strategic questions. And every single time I've had someone complete the assessment, they said, oh, I never thought about that. There was a lot of things that you made me think about. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing. There's so many things that people don't think about because they don't live and breathe and study the industry like I do, or somebody else who's passionate about it. Like I love innovation. I like keeping up on what's up and up in our industry. I love focusing you on love the, the future as a whole. Yes, and the so history and the future. I think I see you, exactly. you. You study the history, and you're always forecasting the future of the industry. Correct. And so, you know, those are very important things. Is that what you may think about? I won't think about because my thought process. It's it's not at the beginning level, the middle, I look at the whole vision of the company. And that's one thing that I love to work with clients. Before we could ever do anything, I want to know what is your ultimate vision? Mm -hmm. What is it that you would like to accomplish as your end result? Because if I don't know what your end result is, how am I going to create a strategic plan for you to achieve that? So if you yeah. want to have a billion dollar company, how can we create that without you giving me a clearly defined vision, you know? So yes. And it's really important to get that one on one, to get that strategy, to get that one on one and get those strategy sessions in uh, yeah. so that you can understand your business. You know, the culinary management company is more than just um, someone who is going to, or a company that's going to look at your menu and tell you, yeah, your business looks good. All oh, that, th that food sounds good. This is really helping you build your business from the foundation all the way up to the roof and making sure that your windows and doors are secure. Yeah. So contact the culinary management company. You can go to their website, www.culinarymanagement.co and reach out and get one of those consultations. You know, it's really important. You said earlier, that you have an assessment, you have an intake assessment. And so it's important that you do that intake assessment so that when you get a hold of Radisha, if you're lucky enough to have her, <laughs> have her eyes on your business, then when you answer those assessment questions, it will help her give, get you to the right place the fastest Correct. and um, create success for you and your business. So check her out go to culinarymanagement.co. Thank you.